Welcome to Survival Theory. Cordage. Everybody knows about cordage. Got to bring 550 or bank line or both. Uh, you should have it in your urban or wilderness get home bag, your urban or wilderness uh, bug out bag, your inch bag, whatever the case may be, or just out and about. Cordage is good to have. A lot of people take that a step further and carry rope, which I could definitely see as an essential item. Uh, perhaps in an urban situation, climbing in and out of buildings, securing things. Also in a mountainous area or a rocky cliff type of area. Or you may want to be in and out of trees using rope. You just never know. A lot of people carry rope and I'm all for that. But what about webbing? How many people carry webbing? Nylon webbing. What is it? What can you do with it? Let's talk about it. Now I've got some rope here. This is polypropylene 1200 pound test rope, 120 pound working load. It's camouflage of course. Now I'd rather be seen with the rope than this webbing because this just looks cool. Sometimes that's what it's all about. But this is about half the price of webbing and I would not trust my life on this because of the low working load. And it weighs about twice as much as this webbing. Webbing, on the other hand, this is tubular webbing. And it's called that because it's actually a tube. You can see this. It's actually a tube. And it's just pressed flat. And you seal the ends just like you would 550 cord so that it doesn't fray. And this has a 4,000 pound tensile strength and it's pretty light. So you can trust your life to this material and for rope to get this strong uh, look to spend about twice as much and of course obviously it's going to be much heavier than the webbing. Of course you can make a harness Everything flat. Make sure you're not wearing boxers. Just for demonstration, I'm just going to tie a slip knot. There you go. Trust your life to that. And that would be a water knot with stopper knots. Now another good use for this webbing is you can mark it because it's flat of course. I usually mark the center point of my webbing. Use a black permanent marker. It also shows up on the darker. And you can mark this every foot and turn this into a measuring tape. So there's another use for it. Measuring tape. Now if you need to drag your wife around or maybe police your property and remove the dead bodies during the zombie apocalypse, you can tie a handcuff knot and when someone pulls on these ends here, it will tighten up around the wrist or ankles and you can drag those bodies around. You can do that with rope also, but rope is going to probably dig into the rotting flesh of those zombies. So using webbing uh, just might make for a cleaner operation. 4,000 pound tensile strength makes a great ridge line. It's 
especially when you can't avoid widow makers. Boy, they're just everywhere. But this should work. Of course, for a safe way up a tree or a cliff, you can quickly make a ladder. Now webbing makes a great sling for your shotgun or rifle. Uh, doesn't dig in your shoulders like rope would. You can make a permanent one also. Of course, if all you have is these bright colors, you're gonna wanna camouflage it with some natural material to blend into your environment better. You can also use it to pass down tools safely such as an axe, some other heavy object. It's actually pretty dang dependable. Works quite well. Thanks for watching Survival Theory. Hope this gave you some thoughts and ideas about webbing, whether to incorporate it into your system or maybe in addition to rope or instead of rope, whatever the case may be. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Please share, like, subscribe. And remember, don't just buy the equipment. Get out there and use it. Train with it. See you next time. I'm going to go make a hammock out of this stuff and relax. Nothing says confidence like 4,000 pounds of tensile strength. Thanks for watching Survival Theory. Oh, take two.